So image gallery is a way for you to display images within your apps. So it is what it's called. It's a gallery of images. So say for this app, I want to display a gallery sh showcasing different food that has been prepared at my restaurant or a view of the different rooms and areas within my hotel the hairstyles done in my salon. I look at some of the holes on my golf course, different landmarks for a city app which I'm creating. So you can use the image gallery to display any type of images that you want to provide um, to the user of your app. I mean, there are countless options. Again, you could do celebrity pictures or great catches in the NFL, if you have an NFL related app. You do have unlimited options to display a nice sort of image gallery for your users. And it's really easy to do. I mean, you can name it anything that you wish. So we'll call image demo. I'll just call it image demo. And then I can add images. So I just click on add images if I want. When I can upload my own images, I just click on add more and then I will select the files from my computer. And now what's cool is I can filter images in my gallery by apps which I have created. So I just highlight it or I can sort by image title. And then I can add the images to my app. Now if I want, I can change the title before I add it. I just click left click and you just hit enter when you're done and then once you've selected the image you want to use you see a blue tick you can select as many as you want and just click on done and the image will be added to your gallery if you want to change your app icon this here is your icon can click here and you can change to whatever icon you wish or you can add your own app icon and then I'll click on save let's just scroll down to update and preview and then we'll go back up and I'll show you how it will look within the app this is the emulator so we will click and it'll bring the image up. You'll see the title at the bottom. People can download the images to their phone. If it's a gallery, they can click and play and it'll go through all the images. They can zoom in if they want, or they can exit out. So let's just do that again. You can see here, it now says image demo. Let's add another image. And we'll change the name. Enter, we'll select it, we'll click on done. So, done, and you can see here we can change the order that we want the images displayed in. And then I'll just click on save again, update and preview. demo click on it and now you can see that you can swap between the images let's say I no longer want this here jellyfish image all I do is I go back I'll click on add images I will on highlight it you see the blue tick here I'll untick it I will click on done and then you'll see that the image is now gone and I will click on save update and preview and that image will now be gone from my gallery so you can see so that's how you can add images how you can change the title for the images how you can remove images from your gallery and how you can arrange the images in your gallery and I know some of our users actually use image galleries to do picture quizzes 
where they'll give you a question on one of the images, like who is this celebrity? And when you scroll to the next, it'll give you the answer. And then you scroll again, it'll give you question two. And then you scroll again, it'll give you the answer. So you can really use the image gallery for lots of different ways uh, within your app to provide value to the users of your app. Again, you'll hear me say it a lot throughout training that providing value to your user is always your number one priority.